There were 10 players in the Euroleague this season who made a move there after spending many years in the NBA. Obviously, there are many more former NBA players, but in this video, I'll be only looking at the ones who made that move directly and answer this question. How well did they do this season? Let's start with the biggest former NBA star, Kemba Walker. Charlotte Hornets all-time leading scorer decided it was time for him to move on to AS Monaco as his injuries had reduced his playing time in the NBA to virtually nothing. And so many fans had huge expectations for Kemba to be dominating in the Euroleague, kind of ignoring the red flags, kind of wishfully forgetting Kemba's knees have gone through three surgeries and the fact that in his last NBA season he only played nine games with the Mavs. And those injury concerns about Kemba Walker really came to fruition as he missed seven games. Some due to recovery from the injuries he had, some due to coach's decision. But then when he did get some playing time, Kemba's diminished quickness only allowed him to play 11 minutes a game averaging 4.5 points on 38% shooting and one assist a game. The only caveat is that Monaco's guard rotation is stacked and Kemba made the playoffs. Next up is a similar case of bad knees but the outcome was very different. I'm of course talking about the former second pick Jabari Parker. The injuries just kept sidelining him resulting in fewer and fewer games and minutes in the NBA. So Jabari made his move overseas and joined one of of the Euroleague powerhouses Barcelona, where so far he's been balling way above expectations. 10 points and 4 rebounds might not sound like a lot to NBA fans, but Euroleague stats are always a bit lower and in general, it isn't the main metric players are evaluated on. Jabari has been one of their go-to guys when Barca need a bucket and he's been successful with it. Plus his team also had a great season and Jabari, like Kemba, made the playoffs. Barcelona was a destination for another longtime NBA player, Ricky Rubio. Rubio's been dealing with mental health issues ever since his mother passed away and staying away from home in the US while getting traded left and right was not the situation he wanted to stay in. Ricky actually played for Barcelona when he was 19 right before getting drafted to the NBA. After returning in the 8 regular season games, Ricky was averaging 5 points on 30% shooting but was dishing out 4 assists a game. So while he is definitely not dominating in his first season back, we have to remember that Ricky hadn't played basketball for about a year since he joined this team in March. Another big name that made a move to the Euroleague was Serge Ibaka. At 34 years of age, Ibaka's role in the NBA had gone down and as he explained in the press conference after joining Bayern Munich, he just wanted to play basketball and not warm the bench. And oh boy, did he do that in Germany this year. 12.5 points, 7 rebounds and 1.3 blocks a game, making him one of the most successful ex-NBA players to play in the Euroleague this season. Perhaps the fact that Tabaka already had European experience and is a veteran of the game really helped him to adjust quickly. Regardless, Tabaka's contribution wasn't enough and Bayern Munich finished outside of playoffs this year. Before I move on, a quick shout out to Hostinger, your all-in-one shop regarding websites. Hostinger provides not only hosting services but also also has a website builder that's powered by AI. Instead of spending hours learning to code or using unoriginal templates, you can just type in a text prompt and customize a website from scratch in minutes. Use our code BNUS10 and get 10% off of all hosting plans. I promise this is the last one from Barcelona, one of the Hernan Gomez brothers, Willy. After getting inconsistent minutes in New Orleans during his last season, Willy decided that the 2022 Eurobasket MVP probably deserved a little bit more. So he came to Barca, the only difference from Rubio being that he had played for their rivals Real Madrid before the NBA. Willis season has been on and off, mostly due to his teammate Jan Wesley being so dominant, but regardless, he managed to put up 11 points and 5 rebounds in 16 minutes. Ok, so what about his brother Juancho, aka Bo Cruz? His stint in the NBA wasn't remarkable, as in 7 seasons he averaged 5 points and 3 rebounds. Unfortunately for Panathinaikos, fans, his rookie Euroleague season hasn't really been much better. One of the highest earners in Europe averaged only 4 points, shooting 28% from 3 and grabbing 2.5 rebounds in 16.5 minutes of play. Fortunately for Panathinaikos, there was another Euroleague rookie who was a complete game changer and that is Kendrick Nunn. After leaving Miami, the next two years in the NBA weren't as successful for Nunn, so he decided to raise his stocks up at Panathinaikos Athens. And and so he did, leading the team to the second place in the regular season while averaging 15 points, 2.5 rebounds and 3 assists. 
His contract does expire this summer, so it will be interesting to see if Kendrick Nunn makes his way back to the NBA. There was another pair of Euroleague rookies that made their debut together in the same team and that was Frank Kaminsky and PJ Dozier. The American duo signed with Partizan Belgrade and together had an up and down season. Dozier and Kaminsky both averaged around 9 points, grabbing 3 rebounds each, with Dozier having 1.5 assists more at 3 per game. Again, the stats don't tell you the whole story as Partizan season finished outside of the playoffs this year, with both of these guys being replacements for the departed Dante Exum and Matthias Lazort. The shoes that those two left were way too big to fill, so although I do see both Kaminsky and those you're playing in the Euroleague, I believe they could have had a much better season individually and as a team. And finally, the last two guys I want to talk about are Sterling Brown and Edmund Sumner. Both of these American guards were drafted in 2017, were bouncing between the G League and the NBA and I guess you could say similarly to Dozier never got their career going in the league. Sterling Brown joined Alba Berlin in the summer while Edmund Sumner joined Jalgiris Konas right before winter. Brown had a steady year in the bottom team of the Euroleague averaging 11 points, 3 rebounds and 2.5 assists while Sumner picked up the pace towards the second half of the season finishing with 7 points, 1 rebound and 2 assists. Regardless like I said before stats aren't everything and these guys were playing for the weaker team teams. So that's the recap of how this season's ex-NBA signings are doing in the Euroleague. Did anyone in particular surprise you? If so, let me know in the comments below. As usual, subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next one.